another week has come and gone again. So here we are. Um, I've had a pretty busy week. I finished a new piece of art for you. Uh, it's the companion piece to my green cat. It's called Goddess Kitty. Uh, it's the same mixed media that I used in Green Cat a couple years ago. It's like watercolor inks, uh, colored pencils. So I have the finished shot for you here, so check it out. It is available for sale, the original and prints, on the website, which is www.ashevans.com. So let's check that out now. So that was Goddess Kitty. Ryoki has decided to join me for part of my blog. Uh, we also went to the pumpkin patch this weekend and got pumpkins. We wanted to get them as early as possible because apparently there is a pumpkin shortage due to the extreme weather of the growing season. So uh, I would procrastinate if you were planning on getting pumpkins this year because there is apparently a shortage that will also affect the number of pumpkins that will be canned for pie in Thanksgiving. I know that there was a shortage of that last year. And that will also cause um, supply and demand rate increases. So just so you guys are aware of the pumpkin shortage. So um, we did take film of that, which I will also put in this video. I have to, you know, go through and edit it. And I have a little mini haul from Target. Because we also went to Target to pick up some lights for our bushes for Halloween. Um, so it's, um, we have a Sanrio 50th stand at the um at the target by my house and this is a 2011 planner and it's so freaking cute it's got hello kitty and all of her little friends and stuff in it um and it's got no paper in it and this was really where's my melody this was really inexpensive i think it was like five dollars or something it was like nothing so here's like the little isn't that cute I love it. So it's very cute. I'm very excited about it. Um, also, Hershey's Kisses have two Halloween flavor kisses. I'm such a sucker for like seasonal stuff. The Pumpkin Spice Kisses, I don't know if any of these taste good or not. So um, we'll have to try them later. But this, I'm most excited about these. These are Caramel Apple Kisses. Um, that's awesome. I love caramel apples. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, and we also got this pig. Look, it's a witch. Like, isn't this cute? It was on sale. It has a little mole and everything. I'm very excited about it. Little witch pig. So that's going with our Halloween decorations. Um, but other than that, I'm working on another piece of Fortuna art which should be ready for next vlog next week. And um, we're getting ready for FairyCon, which is about a month away. So that's it. I'm just going to stick our pumpkin patch footage on the end of this, guys. So have a good one. Bye. All right, we are on our way to Papa John's, which is where we get our pumpkins every year. It's actually right across the street from my old high school, Archbishop Spalding High School. So. We're really excited. Their price, those, their prices are very reasonable, and they always have. I think they do have the turkeys. Oh, sweet! Everyone's looking at the turkeys. Anyway, there's like cool animals and stuff that you can look at and or pet. I mean, you can't pet the turkeys, obviously, but they're there because I see people gawking at them. But anyway, this farm has been around and in this family for generations, and it's awesome. They're doing a tractor ride. They're doing that, yeah. People are doing a little tractor ride. It's, it's exciting. But yeah, right across the street from my high school, we always come here. Is this the best pumpkin patch you've been to, honey? Yes. Sweet. We I'll let you here park every the year. car. <laughs> this place is jumping today. Oh yeah, well, cool. And they have a buttload of pumpkins still. Are you going to take my parking spot? Probably. Of course they are. Mm -hmm. Let's not punch out somebody. It's pumpkin. Oh, day. but honey. Hey, <laughs> Ray. And we're in a pumpkin shortage, people. Pumpkin shortage. I will throw down for my pumpkins. Right? Alright. Yeah, there's my high school. Yay. Alright, let's get a wagon. Alright, here we are in Papa John's. Yay. 
Look at all the fun pumpkins. Ash is going to scope them out initially. She is our pumpkin connoisseur. As you can see, they actually have quite a few. And there's more even on the other side of all the flowers. So we're we're gonna pick some pumpkins and we'll we'll show you what we got in our carts. And by the way, here are the carts. Plenty of space for all your pumpkin needs, both large and small. Good rugged wheels. All right, everybody, we're gonna shop a little bit. See you soon. Bruce, Jolly's gonna demonstrate the proper way to pick up a pumpkin. Do not pick it up by the stem. You know why? Because then the stems break. And then you have an ugly pumpkin because somebody doesn't know how to pick one up. Yeah, he's or brave. breaks and you drop it. And yeah, then it's damaged goods. Damaged pumpkins. We're still picking. It's gonna take us a while, I think, to decide. We're very picky. We're very serious about our Halloween. Don't mess around. See. Do not pick up by stem. It's annoying. But yes, we're looking at like the, the pie pumpkins and the white pumpkins, and then they have blue pumpkins over there, and I have no idea what those things are, but they look kind of like aliens. We have two pumpkins so far. There's Johnny. There's Johnny trying to find a smaller pumpkin for a coffee table. There's all sorts of people here today. It's a really, 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 really nice day, so. And their flowers are really nice, and there's like super cheap. Those gigantic ones are only 17 bucks. Not the ones directly in front of me, but further over. Johnny's very seriously perusing the uh, tabletop pumpkin. Well, we're back where we started. We're on our second pass. Here's Ash. Do another look through. This is our selection thus far. Pretty much gotten all of our round pumpkins out of the way. Now we're going for the odd shapes. He's lopsided. Yeah. Oops. I think we're gonna have to look at the other. <laughs> have other to go over. Patch okay. I like how we make this a really monumental decision. <laughs> like it's really, really super important. It could ruin Halloween. It, it could ruin Halloween. We got a, a funky pumpkin last year. Remember that pumpkin? Yes. It's all rotten inside. That was good. Not good. No. Especially when I cut into it. That was good. Well, we're gonna look some more. Yeah. So we just bought our pumpkins. We got all these. What we get? One, two, three, four, five pumpkins and two gourds for thirty bucks, which isn't bad because they're quite heavy. They do it by the pound here, so. And this place rocks. It does rock. They said we're supporting a local farmer too, so we're gonna load these into the van and then we're gonna check out the animals. Then we get to go to Target. Yeah. Target. Which one's your favorite? We were complimented. I, I know, they. we were complimented on Colossus. Because that's what I decided to name that pumpkin. It's a good name for him. Colossus, right? I had to do a little X-Man nod there. I think we picked a good variety. I don't like people that get the same size pumpkins. I think that's annoying. They're tidy universes. They have to have all things uniform and boring. They didn't have any green pumpkin, like super green pumpkins this year. Oh well. No they didn't. Not bad for a pumpkin drought. <laughs>